Hi everyone, it's Kara, and today we're going to do more work in Python with Turtle. Now that we know our basic commands, forward, left, and right, let's learn other things we can do with our turtle. We're going to use these new commands to draw a desert landscape. First, it's important to import turtle and create your turtle, like we learned before. Otherwise, the commands won't work. The first new command we're going to talk about is the go to command. Our canvas actually has an invisible coordinate plane on it, which is made up of an x-axis, which tells us how far we are to the left or right, and a y-axis, which tells us how far we are up or down. We also have 0, 0 at the center, which is saying that we are 0 to the left or right, and 0 up or down. The go to command Let's us send our turtle to a specific set of coordinates on the canvas. We write it in the same format that we saw with forward, left, and right. Our turtle's name, dot, go to, and parentheses at the end. The difference is, inside of these parentheses, we will need two values instead of one, an x coordinate and a y coordinate. We're gonna use this command to get our sun in the correct place at the top right corner of the screen. So I'm gonna tell my turtle to go to 150, 250, which tells it to go 150 to the right and 250 up. But because our turtle likes to draw, it's gonna leave a line as it moves to this new location. We need to tell our turtle to pick her pen up off the paper so that it can't draw anymore since we don't want to draw a line between where we are now and where the sun should be. We need to give Junie the command pen up. And as we know, to give turtles commands, we type the turtle's name, then a dot, then the name of the command. The parentheses for this command actually won't need a value in them because our turtle doesn't need any more information to know what to do. The opposite of this command is the pen down command again with empty parentheses, which tells our turtle to put its pen back down on the paper so that it can draw again. Notice that I added the pen up command before the go to and the pen down command after it so that we pick the pen up before we move, move, and then put it back down after. Now we're in the right spot so that we can draw the sun. To draw the sun, I'm gonna draw two squares on top of each other where the top one will be twisted a little bit. Do you remember how to draw a square? We need to go forward, then right 90, and do that four times in total. For the next part of our sun though, we actually need to move to a different spot. So we need another set of pen up, go to, pen down commands. This time I'm gonna go to 200, 271. You can always experiment with these numbers to figure out the exact right spot on the canvas you want your turtle to go. You also might notice that we want to turn Junie so that she's facing the right direction to draw the next square. So let's go right 45. Could you add the next square? It's just the same code from before. Another helpful command is the speed command which will make our turtle draw faster or slower. We always wanna add this towards the top of our page so that our whole drawing gets drawn faster, not just one part. I'm gonna change the speed to 100 by writing speed command with a value 100. I also think our codes are gonna get pretty long, so let's add some comments. A comment is a part of the code that we tell the computer to skip so that we can write notes to ourselves or other people about our code. To write a comment, you put a hashtag and then whatever you're trying to say. I'm gonna add a comment to remind myself what these sections of code do so that if we needed to change them later, it'd be easy to find the correct part. But you can add comments wherever you want. Next, we're going to talk about some commands that change the way our drawings look. Because this really doesn't look like a sun. First, let's do the color command, 
which changes the color that our turtle draws in. To do this, we'll follow the same format before with the command color. I'm gonna change the color to yellow, but I have to add the command before we draw the sun so that the color changes at the correct time. Also, we need to put the word yellow in quotes. Otherwise, our computer won't be able to read it correctly. Next, let's add a pyramid to our desert by drawing a large triangle. I'm going to move our turtle to where I want the pyramid to start. We can also see that we aren't facing the right direction, so let's turn a little bit. We know how to draw a square. What will we need to change to draw a triangle? First, when we're drawing a triangle, we only need three forward commands, not four, since our triangle has only three sides. We also definitely need to change how much we turn. Do you remember how big the angles are in an equilateral triangle? 60 degrees, right? But when we try that number, our drawing doesn't turn out quite right. Let's look at what's happening. Here's the triangle we want to draw with the 60 degree angle in yellow. After drawing our first side, our turtle is facing this direction. And we want to turn so we're facing this direction. Is that 60 degrees? No, it's actually 180 minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees. If we try that, that looks more like what we want. Sometimes math can help us figure out what values we need to make the shapes that we want. But you can always start with your best guess. We also need to add the ground. To do this, I'm just gonna code a really big rectangle that covers the bottom portion of the screen. This code should make sense given what we've already learned. With all the colors, this looks close to what I want, but I want to fill all my shapes in. We fill in completed shapes with a set of two commands. We have to tell the computer when we're starting to draw something we wanna fill in and when we finish it, just like we can use our pen up and pen down commands to tell our computer when we wanna start and stop drawing. Let's fill in the first square we drew that was part of the sun. We have to add a begin fill command before we start drawing the squares and an end fill command after we finish our drawing. You can find the underscore, which goes in the middle of our command, on your keyboard by holding the shift key and pressing the minus button. Let's add fill commands for all of our other shapes. The very last command we're gonna learn is going to help us change the background color to the color of the sky. This command is the most unique because our turtle actually has no control over the background. So we have to tell something else to change the background for us. We need to create the screen, which is an object just like our turtle, but it makes up the background of our canvas instead of being a turtle on top of it. To create the screen, we must add the statement screen equals turtle dot screen at the top of our page. This makes it so that the screen is something that we can give instructions to. Now, also at the beginning of our page, we want to tell the screen to change the background color by writing screen.bg color, which is short for background color, and adding the color that we want in parentheses and quotes. For this project, let's do light blue. Now when we run that, it finally looks like a finished desert scene. So now you can use all the commands we talked about today, along with comments, to create artistic projects that look exactly like you want them to. Thanks for learning a few more commands in Python with Turtle today.